So my dudes of Alk here, and today I'm going to be talking about Murata. Now who is Murata? The only way we know anything about Murata currently is through the Archons themselves, Zhongli and Venti. Venti, I believe in the manga itself, says that Murata is a warmonger who just likes to battle. And Zhongli in the Kite Quest, whenever one of the first times we meet him, Whenever mentioning the Pyro Archon, says Murata's war rages on like a flame. In reference to the uh, Pyro Archon. Now, why am I specifically extremely excited for Murata? Well, we know from Ball, or Raid and Mai, that characters with similar namesakes tend to look the same. Are Venti like Wendy? Uh, they tend to look very similar. And you can say we already have the Luke, who's gender bent uh, Murata. Fair enough. That's kind of the same. But. Himiko Murata is my favorite character in Honkai, like straight up my favorite one because she's super fun to play. Um, she's my favorite character in Honkai. And I can't wait to see an in-game version of her inside Genshin. Now the most important thing is the title she has. Every god or every archon has a title, like Zhongli is the god of contracts, uh, Venti is the god of wisdom, Ball is the god of eternity, etc, etc. They all have, I mean not wisdom. <laughs> Venti's the god of freedom, excuse me. Let me correct myself. I know the comments are going to correct me anyways, even though I corrected myself. But I wanted to go ahead and do it. Venti's the god of freedom. Uh, Ball is the god of eternity, etc. And that's basically what's going on. So, um... As far as Murata, Murata is the god of war. Goddess of war, god of war, however you want to talk about her. Not the Pokemon. I mean, like, you know, Kratos. God of war. Not god of war. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, she's the god of war. That was the main selling point for me, was the god... Just knowing that she has that title makes her absolute, uh... Absolute cool to begin with. Um, makes her really, really, really cool. Um, and if you're curious about why I'm hyping her up now, even though she's like two to three years out, because she's from Natlin, if you guys are very curious, Natlin is like chapter four, I believe. And we're not even on chapter two yet after you're playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> Copium? Um, it's because I'm that excited for her. I know she's not coming for a very long time, don't worry about that, but what we know about Murata so far is that she just likes to start war purely because she wants to battle. She's kind of like child, a child had god powers and child ran an entire region. Murata starts war with people that she just meets purely because she just wants to fight. That's why she's the god of war. And I think that's really cool in a sense, but at the same time, war is bad, period. Because, you know, while Murata may not get hurt, uh, other people will in war. And that's that's obviously not, not bueno, not ideal. <laughs> but anyways, I'm really, really, really excited for the Pyro arc on Murata. And hopefully this video lets you guys a little bit, know, gives you guys a little bit of insight though, as to why. Now, when Murata is coming, who knows, dude? It could be two years, could be three years, could be five years. Who knows with Mahoyo? But anyways, let me know what you guys think about Murata in the comment section below. Well, you guys, if Murata was to come out tomorrow, would you guys pull for? Her? Would you guys be excited for the Pyro Archon? Anyways, thank you all for watching. As always, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you all later. Peace.